what's going on everyone so i have a huge update today as we are getting our first guild event currency as you all can see from this mail just about well five hours ago this is a massive massive deal i mean first off 500 crystals that's huge um the, the event currency obviously is big but also starting to accumulate random pieces of gear that i may need and relic materials uh i mean we got some chirotex here which is gonna be sweet in the future when we do need them all of this great great gear pieces as well as well for the immediate the guild event currency and the crystals are gonna be a huge bonus for the account and now i'm gonna regularly be getting these resources now a few things about this <clears throat> because i did ask a lot of you okay rise of the empire what's going on i have no idea anything about this game mode i don't know if it's like the right thing to be doing i don't know if like i'm missing something basically the long and short of it is my understanding from all of your comments is that rise of the empire is the mode to do it's boring it's pretty straightforward most people aren't going to be able to participate in it unless you are in that more end game mode but it gives you the best rewards and as such you should be doing it anyways and so well with that being the case we're just going to do what we can with our resources that we are getting from the game mode now with this well what are we going to be doing with all the stuff of course the gear pieces the relic salvage all that type of stuff that's just going to chill we're going to have that in the back pocket for when we actually need it same thing goes for the chirotex as for the crystals and as for the guild event currency these are things that i'm going to be using in the immediate so the crystals um which i should have claimed it but whatever we'll go back and claim it later um the crystals are going to be used on cantina refreshes and as well as energy refreshes by the way everyone i do three energy refreshes every single day i've done it every single day from the start of the game but i will be starting to invest into some cantina refreshes mainly because well there's three nodes that i am currently extremely interested in one being the genocean soldier as you saw two being the genocean spy and then three being the tie fighter and the tie fighter pilots right <clears throat> of course the tie fighter and tie fighter pilot are going to be used for the executor which means that uh well we need to upgrade them anyways but also it's going to help us plan for the future which we'll talk about in a later video but also the the ship is just a solid ship the geos well we already have the kind of core Geon Ocean 3, Sunfac, Soldier, Spy, and that means that we kind of are already ready for a Geon Ocean lineup. And so to improve our ships, we need to be farming shards for that team, uh, as well as potentially Ezra, because he's the other one that's part of kind of that lineup, right, with the Phantom 2. So I could try to farm Ezra to get that, but I don't know if we're really going to be doing that. It's not really an efficient node. But those three nodes in particular are extremely important, followed by the TIE Silencer, simply to have another dark side ship. And we'll talk a little bit more about that later, but that's also a node I'm extremely interested in. After that, well, the Cantina gets a lot less interesting for the time being. Of course, the TIE, is this the TIE Defender or the uh, TIE Interceptor? Um, I could start farming other random ships. This one's for the Sith Trooper, which is going to be a long term in the making, but any other node that might be a ship node or um, particularly a character that I might be using recently. That's what I'm gonna be using with the gems. And then guild event currency. This one's a big one. Um, I asked you all kind of what we should be spending our guild event currency on. And if I were to just pull up the shop here and, and check out the guild event store, <clears throat> as we went over, there's a lot of interesting options, right? <clears throat> For example, Hera and General Veers are both hard nodes that if we end up buying their shards from the guild event store it's going to save us a ton of energy in the long run and allow us to potentially farm as you all mentioned chirotex in the near future of course we could use it on wampa and hermit yoda but i don't really want to be doing that because as you all see we are getting them kind of on a regular basis from the mark to guild raid tokens so i don't really see a huge use in trying to use mark one currency on those and then of course there's just random ships like the spy for example that i could pick up here in the mark one store and so with seeing all these options and, and everything that everyone has mentioned i wanted to just do my own little research so i pulled up the wiki here and i wanted to see kind of where we could be spending our currency overall and if you look here mark three currency this is well, oftentimes the most important ones can get Wat Tambor, uh, you can get Cat, Razor Crest, although Razor Crest can be done from the fleet arena, so I don't know if that's really something that I should be looking for. Uh, Maul, Boba Fett, basically all the Conquest characters plus some of the guild uh, event characters. So, obviously, 
Kiati Mundi, Wat Tambor, Cat, Boba Fett, Maul. I think those are the priorities here. After that, maybe it's just the Cairo text, but maybe some people can can say otherwise. For Mark II tokens, well, there's a bunch of, you know, it looks like gear 12 slash salvage pieces. So that all is useful as well as Cairo text. All of that is great, but there's also the Malevol uh, Malevolence and Negotiator shard. So I imagine that's where my Mark II tokens are going to go. All of these, by the way, are unusable for me right now because I am not high enough level. So while I am kind of trying to figure out where we want to use them, it doesn't seem like, you know, we are going to have a very, very big application for them yet. But then we get to the Mark One currency, and this is where it gets a lot more interesting. As, well, if you look here, we have Gas, Malik, Ho uh, Yoda, Wampa, all of which are extremely easy to acquire from Mark II currency. So I don't really want to be doing that. We have some salvage as well as some random gear pieces for, you know, building up to gear 12, gear 13, which again, I could get from Mark one currency if I wish from the guild store. And then we look at the characters. And honestly, a lot of these are very similar characters to the regular guild store, but there's a few in here that are way more important. And as I mentioned, a few of them, Veers is one. Hera is another, and then uh, there was one other that I was looking for. Mm, well, I guess those are the two that I'm most excited about. And then we look at the ships, and there are things like Ghost, Phantom, all the Geos, all of which are in this store. And so looking at what I could be spending my Guild 1 event tokens on, this to me is a very clear, let's just get our shards out of the way. Uh, because while I can get some gear, for example, like the Carbontes, you know, Mark III Carbontes would be useful, um, the Stun Cuffs potentially, you know, some of the, the, the Gear 12 finishers would obviously be good. If I can get some of my energy freed up, I could be using that energy either to farm additional hard nodes that could be preparing for my other options, or I could just be using that energy to farm Chirotex, which I have available to me, which are going to be, as a lot of you had mentioned, the big bottleneck, which I cannot use my Mark uh, or my Guild Event tokens, uh, at least Mark 1 tokens, for. So it makes sense to me to either pick up the hardest to farm characters and the ones that I will get immediate gain from, especially since if I'm getting these Geos, I will be able to consistently or at least more consistently remain in the top 100 of fleet, which I have been as of late which gives me a little bit more ship enhancement material, a little bit more fleet arena material. And that would be really nice. And then the sooner I do that, well, the sooner I can finish off some things from the other stores, which could be useful in getting me access to additional other characters. This may be a little bit short term as well. Obviously, you know, the, the, the most efficient would be use all your galactic war, your fleet arena on the ships and such, and then save the guild events for, you know, gear. But this, the quicker I get some of these seven stars, for example, Hera specifically, as well as, you know, General Veers, the quicker I can access, you know, certain game modes and certain pieces of energy and resources sooner. And so prioritizing a few of these makes a lot of sense to me. And that's what I'll be going for. But of course, I'm always welcome to all of your input. Again, a lot of you mentioned what we should be doing with Mark II and Mark III currency. And I completely agree. You all mentioned Malevolence Negotiator, things to think about, so I will be saving it for that. In Mark III Currency, we have Watt Tambor, we got Cat, and we got Chirotex, which I think are, you know, way more important. But for Mark I Currency, since most of it is in the Gear 12 finisher, I think that's where a lot of the value is. I'm just going to go for the characters themselves the time, uh, for the time being, since if you think about it, like 4,000 Currency, which we just got, I believe, right? That was 4K Currency? Um, we have... I think it was like 4,800 currency. Yeah, so 4,800 currency, that's essentially 120 shards of a character, which means I could just immediately finish off something like Hera or General Veers for me, which would be sweet. And that's just one go around. I'm not sure how frequently you're able to do the territory battles. Um, I don't know if it's like a weekly thing. It looks like we have a territory war coming uh, here and I'll have to enter that, but yeah. Um, I don't know how often we're able to do it, but hopefully it's it's as often as we could do the, the raids, uh, which I did just get a bunch of more currency from that as well, as you all saw. So we are we are really getting getting things going, I think. Now that we have the guild events unlocked and we're actually getting all the currency that we really need to, to keep progressing, we are really starting to see some massive improvements. And heck, in, in some cases, well, 
uh, the, these these currencies are kind of becoming superfluous because we, we have the characters that we actually want out of the store. <laughs> so um, I'll have to figure out what I want to do with like the guild tokens themselves. And then, um, well, since we did get some Mark 1 currency and some Mark 2 currency, we're going to be back to buying some Wampa and some Han Solo. Where are you, my friend? There you go. That's going to be a six star Han Solo. Pretty sweet there. And then we'll start working on um, some gear as well as General Kenobi, Darth Treya. And then we'll be kind of on, on lockdown for the Mark 1 currency. There isn't really anything in here that I would specifically like to acquire um, as for the time being. But, you know, maybe in the future when we have all the raid characters done, um, we'll consider it. But other than that, I mean, I'm going to be picking up Carbontes and anything that's particularly useful, like Mark 3 Carbontes, um, potentially the Mark 3 Hollow Projectors, because those are super useful for me right now and, and things like that. But yeah, pretty sweet update uh, in terms of value for the account and lots of stuff to, to happen in the future. Thanks for watching, everyone. Let me know what your thoughts in the comment section down below, and I'll see you all for the next one.